It snowed here today. Glad I did it. Mm -hmm. I heard about it in, uh, in Toronto, but I had my blinds closed all day, so I didn't see uh, it snowed. What? I had my blinds closed, so I didn't see it. It doesn't seem to have been heavy, so. Hi, Lupov. Uh, hi, zero seven one six, Jenny. I'm so hungry. Fuck, I'm gonna work. Where are we? Wow, I'm already wowed. I miss these days so much. Yes, yes, we're getting all the classics right now. The necklace. We're getting the eyes. Look at how crazy her fucking eyes are. Her hair is all sooty. That goddamn shirt. Oh my god. Oh, what is Crackhead Olympics? What? Crackhead Olympics was the period where she met Koki, aka Netter, and she was cracked out of her mind all the time. And there was actual interesting shit that used to go on uh, on her channel every single day because she was cracked out of her mind. It was the best time on her channel. She's never had that much money, that many views, that much interest in the whole story. We would stream sometimes at like two o'clock in the morning watching. Oh my God, it was amazing. We can, we can, we can play games if you want to. It's fucking snowing here right now. Why are you dusting your tongue? I think it's just like a habit. I don't know. What am I eating? I'm eating. It went okay with Nicholas. I mean, it, I left it that. I didn't message him back. Like, he messaged me. Um, oh, fuck, what did he message me? Like, 4 p.m. And then I just kind of, like, he's been replying right away. As if, like, he made it, like, he sounded like he made a mistake. Like, he likes me and he can't wait to meet me tomorrow. He wants, he's like, can we meet at 5.30? Ah, uh, Yes. Nicholas. Now, there was two trains of thinking with this Nicholas guy. <clears throat> he was either married or did not exist. Holy shit, sorry, I'm having a J. Wow, it's a strong one. All right. At the time... I really thought the guy did not exist. As the story went on a little bit, the way she kept getting ghosted in what seemed to be kind of like an embarrassing way to her, I started wondering if the guy was married. And that's why he was like ghosting her at the last second. To this day, I don't know if that one existed. Now, after this guy, there was a string of, I'm going to just call it out, made up guys. Oh, no, I'm having a J seafood bill. Jesus. It just, oh, fuck, it's a strong one, all right? It's one of those monster J's. Anyway, <clears throat> I didn't want to hawk in your faces, but I hawked in your faces. She had invented a whole bunch of new uh, guys that were messaging her all the time. I, to this day, don't think any of those guys existed. They were made up to make Koki jealous. Anytime Koki wasn't available to her or whatever, she would call, call up, wink, wink, or one of these guys would message her out of the blue. And... She really thought that that was making Koki jealous. So she kept these like imaginary friends going at the time is what I think we called them, right? Or all of her imaginary friends. But that first guy, that first fucking guy, Nick, to this day, I don't know if he was also imaginary or if he was just married because it was one or the other. She would have like plans in like a tomorrow and it would always crap out like as if his wife was around. You know what I mean? I don't know. <clears throat> He says he gets tested, but for COVID. Oh, she is high. And I'm not talking wheelchairs. This was, she's cracked out. We are seeing cracked out uh, Chantal here. You know what I mean? Um, and it was still very new, very fresh. Oh, God. Yeah, Big Turk. <clears throat> I don't know if I believe him. <sighs> Too little, too late. Mohini. Yes, we're talking. I know. I can't fucking believe it. But I was just like. I So I didn't answer him back right away. I was talking to someone else and into it with that. 
hi Kim Love, hi. And then I just messaged him at like 11.30 saying like whatever back and then fucking whatever. I'll message him tomorrow uh, when it's around time to hang out. If he's not down, then I'm just, oh, I'm so going to be over it. I'm not disappointed, although I was, you know. Yeah, she's disappointed. Here's what would happen every day. And you can tell this had happened here too, but this was the first time. So she wasn't so mad about it because the pattern hadn't formed yet. Koki would chill with her all night. They would get cracked out of their fucking minds until she had either no cash left on her or no drugs left. And in the morning, he would want to get rid of her. You remember? To have like his me time or whatever. And would, I'm not going to say pick a fight, but something would happen every morning. And every morning when she would leave there, she had had some kind of like fight with him or argument or something. And she was coming down from the drugs that they had been doing all night. She would be in such a bad mood. And this is where she would start this bullshit often or rage at the audience. Yes, the fad, the fast food runs, the McDonald's meals the next morning. You know what I mean? She was always so angry. She would rage. It was fucking great. Um, I don't know. It was a classic Chantal, you know? But this right here, talking about the other guys. Oh, I'm going to message this one. And I was talking to another guy. And if he's not down to hang out tomorrow... That lets you know that Koki blew her off today. This is this was the pattern. This was part of the funny. And everyone would laugh at her every time she'd bring up the imaginary friends. And she really thought she was doing something. Little did she know, the crackhead didn't want her. She could have had all the imaginary friends in the world. It wouldn't have helped. You know what I mean? Dee Dee came along. Fine. Had Dee Dee not come along, wouldn't have changed anything. He wasn't claiming her before Dee Dee. You know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> Um, don't even bother him. I know I have to message him first. I know I'm kind of glad I did because I don't know. He messaged me back. Paris, New York. Okay. The ads are playing no fries left behind in the beginning of crackhead Olympics. Yes. The McDonald's rage, McDonald's McRage bangs. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. I will never forget her. In the car, wearing that, stu you know, that stupid fucking jumper. If you don't know the jumper, wait, wait. It was a staple of Crackhead Olympics. You will soon know and hate the jumper, too. She's wearing the jumper. She's at the McDonald's. And she's having a fit going, I don't want to knit. I just want to eat cheeseburgers and fuck my boyfriend. And say, you know, <laughs> no, cheeseburgers and have sex. Like, I don't want to knit. Oh, my God. Classic meltdown. Chantal, I'm so stupid. Oh my God. Yes. You remember Petrina? <gasps> the good old days. You just had a McDonald's ad. Uh oh. <laughs> it separated the Fupa balls. It did give her the weirdest camel toe you've ever seen in your life. Cause it was like camel toe, what camel toe supposed to be. And then also was splitting her gut. Very fucking weird. Oh, that's right. The watch movies. I forgot the watch movies. She wanted to eat cheeseburgers, watch movies and have sex. <laughs> pushing 40 years old y'all are these ads done you let me know i mean she's not wrong i want sex and food too i mean fair but to be cracked out of your mind shoveling mcdonald's into your face in that jumper having a, a full-grown toddler meltdown you know it was the tone she said it to i don't want to knit it's like burned into my brain she said it's so dumb it was great yeah i don't want to collect stickers <laughs> amazing uh meanwhile yeah good point she is kind of living her dream all she does is eat food and watch movies and <laughs> no sex though wah, wah. yeah i did talk to the egyptian guy but he wants a relationship so he's really you don't even know me already possessive like the... <clears throat> there's no ice oh this was the best thing at the beginning too okay He's so possessive. He wants a relationship. Keep in mind, we're talking about Koki here, okay? Koki never wanted a relationship, but she's really trying to convince us at the beginning. He's just, he's so possessive. Well, you know, he wants a relationship, and I don't want a relationship. Girl, shut up. Shut the hell up. He didn't want you. He was possessive because he wanted to make sure all the drugs were taken at his house, like before you left. Then when he kicked your ass out in the morning, would you call that possessive? 
Ah, oh, you fuckers. Who doesn't put ice in their drinks? Me. Be nation. Giant red flag. And have paper straws. Cause... Well, I'm just going to let him be red flaggy. I think it's cute that he's so... Oh, Lubov. <clears throat> okay, guys. Go watch it. I know. I'm careful. But you don't think I can sit around a cat? <laughs> Do that shit every time I get to bed. Here's your french fries, mister. It... Fucking get Except on with that. seems actually into me. What the hell did I get on my burger? What is this? Light life burger with pickles, lettuce, tomato, onion, black olives, tzatziki, and cheese. Beauty bite. There's a lot of sauce on this from his burgers. Mm. Really? I mean, it might just be this one part. That's and a multi-grain bun. Mmm, mmm, and cucumber. Mmm. -hmm. No one gives a damn about Pete's. <laughs> Once you leave the orbit, like, bye. You're not a riveting character. You're not going to ever spill any teas. Stay fucked. Yes, please. Did I tell you the yes, please joke? I think so. Mm, yes, please. Why is he eye fucking? I've been talking to him in like a burger. It. It's very weird how he's maintaining eye contact through the bite. Weird. Whole day. Maybe two days. Do I care? Not really. Uncanny X Men 20. I don't even remember which one that was. Thank you, Dad. Tell you guys. Do you think I should tell them? Oh. About what happened? Your call. For the record, I finally caved all you. No, Mike. Fine. I finally caved to the peer pressure that all you people pile on me and got set up Twitter or Tinder. I'm already bored of it. You remember how often I used to yell, Pete's leave. This was like one of the first times I remember. She's just like, should I tell them? Should I tell them the story? We wanted the story. She's cracked out. Tell us for the love of God. Tell us. And this fucking idiot is cuts in oh, for everybody on Tinder uh, on Twitter. I made a tender. Shut the fuck up. Leave. You're already bored of what? Sorry, the Tinder? Yeah. You signed up? Mm-hmm. Tinder is uh, not good for... You should sign up for Hinge or Plenty of Fish because Tinder's just hookups unless that's what you want. Pretty sure I have uh, done Hinge and Plenty of Fish too and didn't care. On every dating app, all the girls... Like all the um, profiles I come across, are like mm, I like to be outdoors, I like to go on hikes, I like to skate, I like to snowboard, I like to whatever. And it's like, no. Where are the profiles for the girls who hate the outdoors? They're probably not on dating apps, unfortunately. I'm playing cheaper now. I beezed so hard that I even surprised myself. Let's just leave it at that. I don't think you would like me anymore. Uh, what's she going to tell us? Da, 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 da. And the flame is lit. She's about to confess. Now, Pete, if you say a fucking word right now, I swear to God, shut the fuck up. I don't even know I, if you guys would like me anymore, Mike. Oh, I can't eat these. Want some? Ugh. Now the light life burger. Oh my god! <sighs> no one cares about the burger. Tell us the story. Hell yeah, she's proud. This was like one of her glory moments. <laughs> it's not as good as the Beyond Meat burger, and it's not as good as um, no, the original veggie burger from Harvey's. 
Good point, Donna. Oh, I didn't hit somebody. Hi, Amberlynn. No, I didn't blow. Isn't that funny? She has something to tell everyone. And the first thing that she reads out of her own chat is, no, I didn't hit somebody. Because she drives like such a maniac. People, it was like a matter of time. I want to tell, but it's really bad. <laughs> I did something really bad. You think it's really bad? Oh, it's been a year, Jen. I had no idea. Thanks for telling me. Happy one year, everybody on Twitch. Yay, wow. It has to be a <gasps> Wait. You're right. Bambi came in right at the beginning, and it's like the one year of Bambi. <gasps> wow. Bless. Okay, I'm full. Ugh. I think I'm full. I'm just going to stop eating for a minute. I think I'm full. Probably no Mario party tonight. It is bad. That's why I'm not telling you. Oh, go fuck yourself. I got something to tell you guys. It's bad. It's bad. And she's smirking. She's doing that fucking duper's delight face and still talking about it. She just wants them getting all riled up in the chat. You know what I mean? It's bad. That's why I'm not telling you. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> I know. I should be telling <clears throat> so right at the beginning uh, I called out the drugs obviously the, to me watching this back it was like how could no one else or not no one else but some people thought I was nuts okay when she for example gets the crack pipe burn I called it the crack pipe oh and she gave so much shit for that so sorry turns out it was a meth pipe <laughs> okay she got the meth pipe burn and I called it out and this whole Coke thing called it out. It's so blatantly obvious. How did no one else see? I don't get it. Or how some people were calling me a crackhead because I could notice the obvious going on with her. Look at how red her nose is. Look at her fucking eyes. Did you hear when she blew her nose? It hurt. And all the nose blowing and sniffling and, Oh, God, the huffs. Remember the nose huffs? It's so obvious. I'm going through a bad phase right now. Well, actually, I had a lot of fun, though, doing what I did, even though I was beaten. And I feel like I'm like, should I tell them or no? Because I feel like a lot of my, my, I feel like I've, like, told you guys so much about my love life and kind of made that the focus of my my content because i like talking about it so i'm just like should i tell them even though it's bad i want to tell them the whole story but i don't i don't know if you want to hear it <laughs> she didn't fuck a koala that's the important part hold on no see here's what happened what happened was she found a meth pipe. There was drugs in it. She wanted to try the drugs. But then when she's there, her weapon of choice was the Coke. So she also, you know, with it, they bought a bunch of Coke. So she had tried the meth pipe and then moved on for the night. Meth wasn't on the regular. It was some, it was when they were broke. It was sometimes, but her weapon of choice was the Coke. Um, she would go broke, though. He was, like, way overcharging her and just the the rate that they were doing it and stuff. But she was also making a shit ton of money during Kraken Olympics. Remember her flexing and saying to he who shall not be named in the attic that there were months she made $20,000 a month, uh, $16,000 a month. Like, she had a lot of money to fuck around. And again, imagine making $20,000 a month and not just paying off the fucking key, yeah. Oh, wait, emoji, look. Wait. 
That would be bewildered emoji. <laughs> There's one in our thing that goes like this. <laughs> Why don't you tell us in a story time? No, I think that would be worse. Sad waffle. How about I tell them? How about you hang out with us for a bit and then I tell them after? All right. You want to do that? All right. Hey, Pete. I know why you keep thinking that it's going to bug me. I just feel weird talking about stuff like that. Do you want me to? Because I used to get all up in there. Blech. I'm sorry I had to vom and I didn't want to vom on the carpet because I used to get all up in there. Pete's leave. Yeah. Did you fill Pete's thumb? What? You got jackhammered? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Jackhammered. Oh my god. Oh, God. I got that summertime, summertime sadness. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, the cracked up singing. Kiss me hard. The cracked up singing was almost funny as opposed to the uh, just everyday singing that she still does to this day because they would they were so fast and they would come out of nowhere. Before you go, summertime sadness. But like I, I still don't. I hear it. did go over to the Egyptian guy's house. So he, he told me he got recently tested for COVID and he lives by himself. He has like no family here or nothing. So. Oh, oh God! It's over two years ago now. Can I go on the same rant that I did over two years ago? So at the time that this bitch was gallivanting between provinces, going to hook up with randos, uh. Quebec was in full ass lockdown and he lived in Gatineau, which is Quebec. We weren't even allowed to go and visit family. You weren't allowed to mix households even, okay? It's part of what started the channel and all the reactions. I was locked down in here for the longest fucking time. It was horrific. You, I couldn't even go to my parents. Nothing. I followed all those fucking rules, okay? All of them. And this charmoot was getting wrecked in Gatno, just gallivanting, gallivanting. You know, I was so pissed back in the day. Oh my God. I just figure it is Beeson. I do feel bad about that. Um, I'm not going to be meeting any other dudes, just him and maybe Nicholas. So this guy is fucking crazy. I, I was, I was so mad at the lockdowns. Like, okay, I understand the logic of them and stuff. I'm not trying to be like, I'm not like an anti this and an anti that at all, but I started just losing my shit. You know what I mean? I live alone here. I couldn't even go to like Mr. FFG's house. I, nothing. We were following all the rules. We were terrified of breaking them. The cops were coming around at night. I shit you not like fucking Gestapo going to people's houses and like checking you had to prove of address if you were in there and stuff. It was insanity. And this bitch was just just going back and forth, getting high. I was so mad at a start. I started losing my mind locked in here. They had nothing to do. Nothing to do. Thank God I had dogs. It was the only way you were allowed to leave your house. If you had dogs, yeah, you had to walk them. It was like your exception. You know what I mean? Fucking insane. Like, excuse me. I basically, I ended up tiptoeing out of there when he fell asleep. Because at some points I was just like, yeah, I did. And the dry spell. Not just, it wasn't just that. It was like, from the minute I got there, I get there. I pull up, comes outside, shows me where to park. Or do you want me to wait while I talk about this? No, go ahead. <laughs> do you want me to tell you like everything that happened or what? Because it's kind of like the beeson doesn't end. Okay, don't judge me, please. I'm just fucking okay. I know. I know I could be more responsible. So, <clears throat> I know. All right. Why do you even ask? I want you guys to be like, tell us. No judgment. Okay, thank you guys. Even if you're judging me, I fucking get it. But so he comes over, he shows me where to park, and I see him, and he's like, 
I'm just like, uh, he looks like his pictures, but very skinny. Like, I don't, I'm not body shaming. Yeah, okay, that sounds like body shaming. I won't talk about how skinny he was. He's one of those, like, really skinny guys, <laughs> Jess, but he's got, like, ripped, like, muscles. He's, like, really hyper and I don't know. Oh, my God, the ads are playing now. For the love of God, the timing. It's like they know we're finally getting into the juice. <sighs> okay, well, he's really skinny, but he's so ripped. He's got those muscles. She turns cokey. Remember, we hadn't seen him, right? She turns him into an Adonis. And then, of course, we happen to be live. <gasps> the live, the night of the, the oh, what do you call the the magic show. We happened to be live while they went live and we dipped in. We were sniping and there was the slip and everybody saw the face. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, the ads are over. Thank God. Anyway. So I get there. I'm like, uh, but then whenever he shuts like his apartment door and then he kissed me and I was like, he's such a good kisser. Like he's such a good kisser. So then he's egyptian and i think he's arab he doesn't speak very good english but it's okay um you weren't there for talking anyway <laughs> whore disagree he's not a butterface the body is of a fucking crackhead i i wouldn't say koki has a nice body no he's just butter all over <clears throat> so he showed he was so cute showing me his place. He's like, I his place, he fixed it up really nice. He's a really handy guy, so organized and clean. Holy fuck. I'm just like, I'm so the opposite of you, right? Like, so and he was like, Why are you always giggling? <laughs> I can't be with a guy who can't handle my giggling. I giggle about everything when I'm nervous, everything. Um, okay, Indy, this was a thing. This was very much a thing two years ago. A big like debate in the community, and everyone kept saying, like. How come all these guys that she was claiming to talk to and stuff, it was always, she would say their nationality. And some people were like, wow, that's really like judgmental or I don't even, I don't even remember what, a lot of people thought that was like a whole ass thing. It's really not, it's a very Canadian thing to do because so few people here are actually like Canadian. If you ask people here, like, where were your grandparents born? It's maybe one out of 10, you're going to hit on people who are like Canadian, Canadian like that. We, we tend to do that like, oh, I don't know, the, the Greek guy, the Italian guy, the Egyptian woman, the you know what I mean? It's it's a Canadian thing to do. It's not like a hateful thing. We all tend to do it. Um, I think he's Muslim, but he does. He's not practicing. We're not making fun of skinny people. I just wanted to describe his body type. I like skinny guys because they have, you know, it makes our dicks look bigger. Yeah, it's true. So anyways, so I'm like stalling because I, I get like that. I don't want to like get right down to business. I don't want to, I'm so nervous. It's been a year and a half. I haven't had anyone look at me naked or nothing. I have, look at this. I had all my, I had all my fucking hair powder in my head. This is so embarrassing. You guys are going to fucking die. This is what I want to tell you because it's a funny story time. So <laughs> ow, I'm in a lot of pain. So, okay. <clears throat> I okay, so I'm not skinny anymore, but I used to be very skinny. So that that you was fair. that was fair. Right? Like I'm not. I used to be really skinny. I've got a gut now, but yes, I did used to be skinny. So whenever you were really skinny as a teenager, yeah, you had like a pole. <laughs> all right, all right. So. This guy, I don't know what it is. He just really, really likes me a lot. So I'm um, just his type. Uh, he likes how I look, blah, blah, fucking blah. So he wanted me to stay. Like, he gets mad easy. Like, I know there's going to be red flags, but he gets so mad. Like, how come you took so long? Oh, the first encounter. And she's like, I know there's going to be red flags. He gets mad so easy. If you see that in someone on the first encounter, can you imagine how mad they really get? People don't usually show you they're crazy on day one. Too long to get here. I'm just like, holy fuck. Um, so then he's just like, okay, just hear me out, guys. So then he's like, we're downstairs, and then he like turns, he's like, go up the stairs. <laughs> so we go up the stairs into his bedroom, and we stayed in the bedroom. Fuck, like from uh, when did I get there? Ooh, Bambi, good question. If I'm remembering the timeline correctly, this would be before Pete said it. 
Pete said it when he started a channel. Yes, yes. This is before he said it. There. When did I get there? I don't know. You were gone by the time I got up. Like 5.30 or something <laughs> until he didn't carry me, but he was like. That would have been a, that would have been a trick. Oh, he's like, I, I can. He's like, I can pick you up. Oh, my fucking God. Like, he's yeah, like, no, you can't. No, every guy I meet does that to me. You know why the storytelling is worse now than it was back then? Because this, for once, very rare on her channel, is an actual true story. So she doesn't have to put in all the, like, distractions and uh, little things for time so she can come up with the next line and stuff. She's actually telling us the night she spent with Koki. It's so rare to get a true story out of her. I'm strong. I'm skinny, but I can pick you up. I'm just like, what the fuck? Are you serious? So we go in his room. He's got the cleanest fucking room I've ever seen. He's got like a small like bed like yours, a bit bigger, and then like a big mattress on the ground. So The mattress on the floor! Yes, bitch! The mattress on the floor. He had a twin bed to sleep on and then a floor mattress to fuck fatties on. Mattress on the floor was such a character. Oh my god. So I'm just like, oh, like what? This is going to be so awkward. There was so light out. So to ease the mood, he gives me, he starts smoking. He lights up this Moroccan hash and we get totally fucking baked. And then he like break, this is, I don't want to say this, but you guys are going to be so, I don't do this on a regular basis. I don't even do it really, but I did it for some reason. I did it. And no, wait, wait, the purple mattress, not to be confused with the mattress on the floor. The purple mattress is Dee Dee's bed in Lachine. The mattress on the floor was just a fucking floor mattress he probably picked out of the garbage that he used to fuck his fatties on in Gatineau. It's not good to do. And if that changes your perception of me, I apologize. But I did like, he busted out like a bunch of lines of cocaine. Ooh. I know. Yeah, I told you I beezed hard. I told you I beezed hard. All right. So I did that. I had a glass of beer. And um, I pretty much, like, had no clothes on, like, the whole time, which was so weird. Like, I felt really, really, really comfortable because he knew what kind of body I had, and he really knows how to work it. Like, I've never, ever, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be... <laughs> I've never experienced something like that before. But I know. Ugh. <laughs> this is so gross. It's so gross. I've never experienced something like that before. Somebody's so willing. You were high as balls. And he was already picturing the rent money. Or for all we know, you had already given him some money. Who the hell knows? T yeah, that's right. Called you buffalo and kept poking your fat and calling it titties. Mm. Hot. Oh, I didn't, I, I know I never do Coke, obviously. Like I don't, you know, okay. When I used to party hard, when I would party, I would do it. But for me, even though I have an addictive personality, it's not a drug I really like. It's not something, you know, I just thought it would be good. Like to get, I guess he wanted it to give us both energy to keep going. I, he's crazy. He did not sleep because what he did was he in the morning, like t this morning early, he wanted me to come over and I'm like, no, I'm fucking tired, you know? So he got all pissed off. He was going to call in work. So he called in sick to work so I could go over and we could sleep. I'm like, well, I need to sleep. He's like, well, sleep here. He's like that kind of person. Well, I need my toothbrush. Well, I have an extra toothbrush. So he's just like, oh my God, I'm going to vomit. Can you imagine using the extra toothbrush at a crackhead's house? I just got goosebumps. Oh my God. Kill me. Like fucking, you know, oh no, big. Oh, I took the the coke like early early on so it was really early um yes he does wicked mom or did back in the day anyway ironically one of the things that let me and shannon get in cahoots when i told chantal all about the co uh, the the speed that he does and keep allegedly conspiracy whatever but it's not alleged kept massive quantities of at his house uh, Chantal had also mentioned that to Shannon. And then that's sort of how Shannon knew that like what I was saying was true in the messages back and forth with Chantal. She had said something like, how would she know about the speed? You know, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I'll get to it. Hold on. So 
he from five like from the time we got in the bedroom no clothes just like constant like constant touching me and wouldn't leave me alone like just like I'm just like I need a I fucking need a break it was like constant constant and he didn't sleep so he didn't sleep from like all day and night he went to work he ended up going to work then um I think I did maybe like five lines four or five lines and I know it's hard to say that because I know you guys I I'm not usually like that or maybe I am and you just don't know me I don't know <clears throat> I can get pretty reason and wild I don't know like I can get pretty bees in a while. You guys just don't know me. Keep in mind that right before Pandora's box of horny had opened, we had seen this woman's uh, live streaming from 12 to 16 hours a day. Sometimes the monotony of every breath of her life. You guys just don't know me. I can bees pretty hard. Yeah, you bees pretty hard as long as there's a dick involved. But we do know that about you. You will do anything as long as there's a dick involved. Any thing for a man hmm? talk, talk about one extreme to the uh, to the other one non-relationship and then one fake husband back to back we have every drug on this planet earth if she could get her hands on it she would have done it because he wanted to do it and now we have a hijab on hmm? zero to 100 real quick uh, whiplash real quick any fucking thing for a man blocked him <laughs> so listen to this doesn't end there it, 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 constant constant just making out like oh my god the kissing is amazing i'm sorry it was really good it was really really mind-blowing but i had to take like a bunch of like i'm in so much pain right now i'm in so much pain i'm not used to that you know what i mean yeah so i'm in a lot of pain um this with fentanyl really hi gail Oh, hold on, guys. I'm so bad at the Twitch. I'm sorry. Hold on. Thank you, guys, to uh, people who have re wait subscribed or resubscribed or followed. And thank you to Solo Gabby for gifting the community subs. That's very nice of you. I'm sorry. I just noticed it now. Um, Eric. So he has a pillow on his bed. Okay. This is the funny part. And I, <clears throat> my head's rubbing on the pillow. So when I get up, all of his fucking pillowcase was black. From the... Ow, ow, ow. She got his fucking pillow all sooty with her goddamn hair soot. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, the jawline shifting, the nose huffing. Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> I was so embarrassed, and it was light out. Oh my god! Like, and, oh, man, being fat. Like he tried to do this thing, so he tried. <laughs> oh, this is onto another embarrassment. I'm like, what does your hair soot have to do with being fat? But we're on to the next embarrassment, I suppose. To pick me up obviously it didn't work <laughs> know your limits <laughs> he's like i'm like it's not gonna happen he's like you're short i'm like how much do you think i weigh and he's like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if i'm remembering the story correctly uh the 400 dollars that she gave him on the first night was so that he wouldn't go to work the next day if i'm remembering this right and I think I'm remembering this right. Koki had, okay, okay. Koki was taking CERB, which was the money that the government was giving everybody who was in lockdown because we couldn't go to work. So the government was giving everybody $2,000 a month. It was called CERB at the time, okay? He lived in Quebec. He was locked down like the rest of us. Certain jobs, though, stayed open, like a... Um, uh, what did they call them? You know, like uh, there were, there was still like firemen and cops and gas stations open and construction kept going because it was so in demand. And they thought, well, they work it outside. Like there, there's enough space between people, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, this motherfucker was scamming the system. He was taking the CERB from the federal government and working under the table, doing something in construction, 
I don't know, maybe schlepping, like cleaning up. Who the hell knows what he was doing? But he was pocketing that money. They were paying them cash. And he was scamming the federal government for $2,000 a month. She didn't want him to go to work. She wanted to keep the party going. And she's a jealous motherfucker. She wanted him to stop doing that job for cash. She gave him 400 bucks on the first night so he would stay home the next day and convinced him to quit the job. So part of the money she was giving him per month, yeah, bitch, you told me to quit. It's the same thing. Like she convinced Pete's to quit. Do I have very little respect for the, uh, the fact that Pete's would just like quit his job and let her take care of everything. But that was their deal. She convinced him she needed a playmate at the time. She was bored all day, right? So she convinces him to quit and says she'll cover everything. It's the, sort of the same thing she did to Koki. Uh, her note, Joe, matter. relax, Jesus. Her note matter. Christ. <laughs> I'm not destroying my health, Jesus. Like, oh no, he would have had Donna. He would have had a legitimate job before the lockdowns because he was out on like probation or parole or whatever. And one of the the conditions of his parole was to keep employment. But when the, the government shut down, like if he was working in a restaurant and shit, all that shit closed, you know what I mean? When the government shut down, they gave that money, but you were only supposed to take that money uh, if you couldn't go to work. If you're working for cash somewhere under the table, like working for cash is illegal. Doubling up on that CERB money was illegal. He was frauding the government two ways. You know what I mean? Taking that money and then not paying taxes either on his income that he was earning at the time. Sex is good for your health. <laughs> Cocaine? No. But. So anyways. I'm fucking huffing. Coke boogers. I hate it. I don't even like it, Joe. Please. Normal sex, not during during lockdown. All right. So, hi, Sarah Jane. Jason is gone. What? Where? Who? What? Where? Why? <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> what else happened? So, I'm... I'm... Yeah. I told you I was beating. Hi, Treen Moore. Yep, he's a bad girl. Yes, use, yes, use. So he... <clears throat> he fell asleep. Um, He's kind of really rough. Like, he was rough at one point. But because I'm on blood thinners, I, brew, I mark up really... Oh, crap, the ads are running. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to check what's going on. There's ruckus outside the window. There's a random pickup truck that just pulled up full of corn and tomatoes. What? Okay. And they're just like taking corn and bringing it to the house next door. I'm so confused. But they were like yelling in the front. Elotes, elotes. Okay. What? Okay. Do you have to resub with Prime every month? I have no idea. You know, I, I've never twitched. I don't know about Twitch at all, except for from like doing this side of Twitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ads are done. Fantastic. This is so fun. I agree. Oh, corn next door. Yeah, that's Canada. That's the most random thing I've ever seen. I live in a big city. This is not corn uh, territory. You know what I mean? All right. The elote man just pulled up. Yeah, apparently. Weird. Yes, Prime every month. You do have to resub with Prime every month. Okay, good to know. Thank you for the info, everybody. Be really easy. So my breasts are like full of marks. <clears throat> and I was like, how do I hide that from Nicholas? No, I'm just joking. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. This grossed me the fuck out when it happened. Now we've seen some shit. This seems like nothing, you know? How am I going to hide this from Nicholas? Don't worry. You don't need to. His wife is around. You're never going to meet Nicholas. Uh, and another thing that really pissed me off, she's like, I'm on blood thinners and I bruise so easily. He, Koki was like slapping her around. You know what I mean? Like, 
And she doesn't tell him, hey, can you maybe stop? I'm on blood thinners and I bruise easily. She just went with it. Lunatic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So. Oh. No, fuck pretzels listening to all this. You know what? If Beats hadn't enjoyed listening to all this, he could have gotten up, gone upstairs where he had his cat locked in a room until it died in that squalor. Fuck Pete's. Fuck them both. Hmm? <laughs> um. <sighs> no, we did cuddle like the whole time. Like we were in bed the whole time. But every time we would cuddle, we would start kissing and then he would again and again and again and again and again. Like, I swear to fucking God, seven times. I was just like, so I'm just at one point, I'm just like, I can't. I'm sorry. I just can't deal with this. I went from no sex to like, what the hell's happening to me, you know? So it was really, really, really fun. Um, that's what I wanted. But he's so like, <sighs> passion, Tim, why the self-destruction? You did coke you a lot of man to hurt you. Thanks for the super chat. Um, it didn't hurt when he was doing it. <laughs> it's not that he, he didn't hurt me. It's, um, <laughs> Victoria, is that what I think it is? I just need to recover exactly. So I'm going to like avoid him for like a fucking week because this guy. But I recommend avoiding him forever just because he seems clingy in an annoying kind of way. Yeah, I know, but you just have to stink out <laughs> after. That's all. Wow, Pete's, Pete's had it right on day one. Interesting. <laughs> I hate to give it to him, but you got to give it to him. You should have avoided him forever. Imagine. I mean, no, she shouldn't. Have, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. For her, she should have avoided him forever. For us, I'm so glad she didn't avoid him forever. Can you imagine sliding doors and we never had crackhead Olympics? <sighs> what? What would have happened instead? Would her channel have just died two years earlier? That's what I'm guessing it would have happened. Because hmm. he was like, I'm like, okay, let's go to bed. Because he, need, he needs to fucking go to bed. You know, he needed to go to bed. So we're laying there and then he's trying, he's like touching me again. I'm just like, I no, like we need to sleep. <laughs> so <clears throat> finally he like, he passes out just like, like that, like passes out. Snoring and whatever the fuck else he farted. And so I just like, um I don't know if he's do you think he's abusive? I think he's just mm, tough to tell. I mean that kind of possessiveness. Uh, well, speaking of possessiveness, <laughs> I was messaging in my fucking on my phone and it was I think it was you. And he's looking at me and he's like, "Who are you texting?" So I didn't know what to say. I was just like, "My friends." Can you imagine on day one, somebody has the audacity to be, who are you texting? I would have been like, your dad. Like, who? What the fuck? But, Did he say it like in a, an aggressive tone? No. Fashion Tim, this is really bad. You did coke your coffee and making poor eating choices, reactions you don't want. I did it. You know. She's got to give them some content, right? Yeah. She's, uh, she's helping them out. Yeah, Eric. All those reaction videos, that's... thank Chantel for providing you with content. Yeah, Sarah Jane. Says the man sitting there like a bot bitch. Uh, Pete's, shut up, number one. Number two, if you're not going to shut up, thank Chantal for providing you with the burger that you just ate, you fucking freeloader. Shut the hell up, Pete's. And then he was like, he's like, what do you want to do now? You want to go home? And I'm just like, I was like, uh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, dude sounds like a douche. Sounds like a douche. So then, he, and then I was like, um, you hit it. I say Emac with it. I didn't drive right away. It was like hours and hours after. It was like the end of the night. Like it was like the beginning of the night when I did that. And then I 
just like I didn't even I didn't even feel anything. Like I don't know. I, I don't feel anything really from that. Maybe a slight up and that was it. You know, so nothing. She's still high right now, trying to convince us that she waited hours to drive. She doesn't feel anything from the coke though. No, no, no. Nothing at all. <clears throat> that sounds a pretty good point. What did you say? I said you've hit it. Now quit it. You've heard that expression, right? Hit it and quit it? Yeah. Yeah, Pete's. It wasn't funny the first time you said it. That's why everybody just glazed over it. Shut up. I'm saying you've hit it. Now it's time to quit it. Because that guy sounds. No, he wasn't the French guy. That guy sounds shitty. <laughs> he didn't say anything about the hair powder, but. Please tell me you did. You need to take a break from social media. Thank you. If Koki's still doing drugs, hell yeah, Koki's still doing drugs. But we've gone back to like meth level. No, but nobody's paying for seven grams of coke a night. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a lot of drugs. I, mean, I didn't, thank God I didn't have to go to the bathroom when I was there, like for a poo poos. But I didn't eat anything. I might have to now. My license should be revoked? What? I wasn't high. Fuck. Like, simmer down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Her license should be revoked. Whether or not she was high on this night driving home, you know what? Benefit of the doubt. I think she was high, but we'll benefit of the doubt on this one. You've been high a million times driving in your car. Again, the problem when you stream 12 to 16 hours a day is that we see you get high and then we can count the time until you get behind the wheel. We also have eyes. So like when you were in the drive through waiting for your food and you picked up the weed vape pen and you were just hitting it at the drive through we see you. I know. It was like 5.30 when I did it, and I left at like, what, 1 a.m. or 12.30? So, no, it shouldn't be revoked. Um, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Diddy looks like a full-ass crackhead now. It's amazing. She could be like the warning posters for like, don't do drugs. Look at the difference two years makes. It's scary. Yeah, yeah. The pictures on Twitter. I saw that too. I saw a little clip on uh, a clip of the video. Yikes. So. Diet. Well. I'm not high. Anyways, so that's what I did. I don't know if I'll still see him. I don't care if Karate Joe's mad. I'm honestly sick of you giving me shit for everything anyway, honestly. I am. Like, I'm not a child, okay? I don't need a lecture. Thank you. Come again. Oh. Like, I don't know. Like, I kind of like him. Like, I just don't want to be in a relationship with him, but do I want to see him again? Maybe. <sighs> um, she really is so damn desperate for anyone to want or love her. You're right. That it makes this, this little performance even more hilarious. Trying to pretend to play hard to get. I know when a relationship with him, will I see him again? <laughs> Maybe. Meanwhile, she's probably already counting down to be able to end the live and call him up and go and get fucked and cracked out again. He's a creep. He does kind of seem it. You guys, yeah, but you don't know. Like, he sort of does. Like, he seems like kind of like a possessive kind of guy. <clears throat> and I'm not going to. I'm not going to pursue anything with that. Um, so that's what I did. I told you I was beaten and you wanted to know. So if you want to judge me, 
then judge me. I mean, what can I say? <clears throat> I get judged no matter what I do. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about what we used and this and that. I just don't feel, I feel like going into like details about that. She told us what drugs they did. That, I'm not going to tell you what you used. Is, is somebody asked in the chat if she used protection? If at least she had used protection. Now, after highlighting every detail of their encounter, what drugs they used, he had his Moroccan hash. We even know the nationality of the hash, for God's sakes. He walked out. I pulled up to the drive, uh, the parking lot. He walked out to the car to tell me where to park. Every fucking detail. I'm not going to tell you what we used. That tells me you didn't use shit. Um, honestly, but... Um, Aside from condoms, I hope. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't really matter with you. Well, yeah, it still does. I can still get... Oh, STDs, yeah. Yeah, it depends on whether you're clean. <sighs> There's that Cornwall education again. Well done, Pete. You are so fucking smart. <laughs> Thanks, Ariel. That's not true. Uh, so that's what I did. My chat isn't having this. So that's that. That's the tea. No, we had his own. He had his own co co cocaine. I don't know. <clears throat> um. Yeah, uh, he had his own coke. If it really was coke that he had, God only knows. But sure, you get someone like hooked once for free, and then she'll pay forever. Thanks, Raquel. You're you're all saying no condom. I never said anything. Yeah, I was the one who mentioned the condom. I lost 100 followers. Oh, well. I really don't care. Like, uh, you know, if people, like I said before, if they want to unsubscribe, then unsubscribe. If you don't like what I'm doing or, you know, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, it was fun. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just like beezing be sometimes, being really, really, really bad, you know? Maybe... I should keep those things to myself, but then again, if someone, if, if somebody is going to, like, unsubscribe and not support you, like, and just be a judgmental dick, then good riddance. I don't really care. You know, you're not a supporter to be. A judgmental dick. You're not a supporter to start out with. So either you agree with me getting cracked out of my mind with a complete stranger during a lockdown, uh, raw dogging like the pig that I am, again, with a crackhead stranger, you're not a real supporter. Hmm. You're a fair weather supporter. Begin with anyways. You don't have to support what I do, you know, but I find people are just like really high and mighty and like self-righteous, like save it, you know, like <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. I think obviously fast forward to her in the fucking uh, cosplaying in the hijab, judging the shit out of everybody who's high and mighty. Now you fucking just ugh, disgusting, just disgusting in every way people are going to go nuts and be like you did something so bad but i don't know i don't like being good 100 percent of the time and sometimes i have fun partying hard so that's it sam i'm not opening the window sam it's feeding no and and if you don't like it you know what to do don't watch me <sighs> where me Um, 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 yeah, I'll figure it out. Madison, thank you. Thank you. So I had to sneak out at like, he fell asleep and I was just like laying there. I'm just like, uh, I gotta sneak out somehow. <laughs> And listen, apparently, <clears throat> allegedly conspiracy, whatever, uh, as to what Shannon says, her partying had much less to do with Coke, which she's like, oh, I like to do Coke and I'm partying. Ch Chantal used to drink a lot. That's apparently the vice, okay? 
This whole bullshit fabricated of like, oh, I, what? I, I'm a regular Coke user all the time when I party. It's just not true. <laughs> so I like, it was just like, you know. Uh, it's not because I didn't feel anything from the Coke. Honestly, I don't feel anything like he seemed to get a lot of energy from it. But I was just like, Ugh, I just want to go home and eat. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, Savage Keyboard. It's yeah, he's not he didn't abuse me. I'm glad you had fun. You can tell a lot of these people have never left their hometown. Thank you, Madison. Yeah, just because my idea of fun, I guess, like, I would say doing a couple lines of coke every, what, 10 years is not self-destructive. I mean, sorry. It's... I'm not a hard to disagree. You have to judge a situation before you make blanket statements like that. You're a death fat on blood thinners. And at the time, she was taking all kinds of medication. Uh, I don't know. Your heart is dealing with enough already. The last thing it ever needed was uppers. Tenacious H, I did not hear this. Oh my God, is this true? Did you hear Dee Dee's mom says she thinks Koki still loves Chantal? Ew. It's not. <laughs> um, so, yes, very satisfied. But, good point, Moto Goff. I don't know what's going to happen now. Oh, the ads are playing. All right, we wait. We wait. She's a pretty evil person, in my opinion. Yeah, I think we all kind of agree with you at this point. That's right. Koki never loved her. Koki loved his bills being paid. Koki loved not having to just do math all the time. Uh, you know, there were perks. He liked that bathtub in Toronto. You know what I mean? Oh, gross. Koki, Dee Dee her. <laughs> like it the most and get her back yellow. What are you waiting for? God damn. I hate Twitch because of this. Yeah. It does kind of break the momentum. You know what I mean? Yeah. Butt wipe ads again? I swear to God, they know we're watching Chantal. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Koki misses selling her his gram of mushrooms for 300 bucks. <sighs> Can you imagine? Fucking insane. Oh, oh, wait, damn it. All the gifts and the money, and he still wouldn't fake love her. Yep. Exactly. Was Dee Dee watching this and just thought, yep, I want him? Mm hmm Dee Dee, that's, that's a whole other... Dee Dee's fucking sick. He's going to be so mad when he wakes up and I'm not there. You don't like me? <laughs> uh, what? That's gross. Yeah, I will be safe. I'll be okay. I'll be cautious. I will. I will. Cut him off immediately. I'm not. I'm not cutting him off. Um. So, I could see you playing cheeseburger. So, uh, now I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I don't feel good. And I always thought, like Indy, I totally agree. The fact that that now the elderly mother is in the mix and stuff sickens the shit out of me. I always thought Dee Dee was worse anyway, because you could argue at least when Chantal met him, she met a complete stranger. She didn't know what she was in for with this loser and stuff. By the time Dee Dee liked it the most, it was like we had a, an established pattern of behavior already in the community with Koki. Nobody liked Koki anymore. And that moron comes along at that moment to like it the most. You know, how fucking desperate can you be? How dare sliding doors, Dee Dee, you stupid ass crackhead, fucking Lachine crackhead. I'm that part of Lachine. She lives in the part of Lachine where the fucking crackheads are and stuff. She really fits in in that neighborhood now. It's perfect. Ugh. Sliding doors, Dee Dee, think back to the night that your dumb ass liked it the most. You were sitting pretty in your little condo that your mom owns. A meat on your bones. You would go regular and get your little haircut for your job that you've had for 20 something years at the same company, steady income, no fucking drug addiction. And look at you now. Ugh, you look like a full ass fucking crackhead. And for what? For him? Ugh, loser. I'm so glad you got what you wanted there. Be careful what you wish for in life.
there's a ghost here. Yeah, I've seen that snatch badge. I've seen it. That's nice. That's nice. We've seen that, Cindy. We've seen it. We've seen it. We didn't respond because we don't care. <laughs> Sorry. Because we don't like we don't get it. I mean, like if the ghost like tell him to fuck <laughs> off and leave us alone. <laughs> anyway, I am just yeah. That's it. I don't want to have a relationship with this person like at all. Obviously, I don't I just kind of like laugh it off like whenever he's mad cuz I don't care. Like I don't I don't listen to him, you know. I don't know. Hell yeah, we called it uh head cheerleader mode back in the day. She it was the after coke effect. She she had this fucking attitude and uh who the hell are you trying to convince that you don't want a relationship with him? Fast forward to all he had to do was fake love me. <laughs> Control my every move. Well, yeah, that's not going to happen to me because I'm not going to be in, in a relationship with this person, you know. Tied down. Um, unless you're into that. <clears throat> Don't need to be tied down by a stranger unless you're into that. Anyway, uh, no, I don't like abuse. Actually, I told him I don't don't like rough sex, you know. And he's like, "Well, if you don't, if you don't tell me, then I won't know." So that was it. And then it was just really, really sensual. Um, a lot of making out and stuff, like what I like, you know. Um. So. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't like this guy. Yeah. Well. Um, thanks for the donation, Shay. I don't even see what it is. <sighs> oh, fuck. that's nice. That's nice. Go ahead. Fuck, I don't care. <laughs> you guys are stupid. Call the cops. What did I do? What are they gonna do? Give me a coke test right now? Hi, Rusty Spoons. <laughs> Give me a coke test. That sounded very Cornwall. What are you gonna do? Call the cops? They're gonna give me a coke test. Or something, eh? <laughs> Idiot. No, no. But for the driving high thing, you you definitely should not call the cops. I'm not telling everyone to call the cops. But it just would have been perfect had she been pulled over with the vape pen in her hand, you know? God damn it. You bitch and complain about me going out during COVID, blah, blah, fucking blah. But then you... You waste resources. You people are insane. You waste fucking resources like calling cops on people when there's actual emergencies. Who am I endangering right now? Get a fucking life. Kind of like how you did with the whole CPAP thing and when you went there and wasted the cops time making that false report. Shut the fuck up, blah, blah, blah yourself, you heifer. It, you can waste whatever you want. It's not a waste when you want to fuck around, huh? Seriously, over your shit. Also, 1312. All that? cops are bastards. <laughs> yeah, someone's like, oh, you have dilated pupils. I'm going to call the cops on you. Fuck the police. Um, Shut up, Pete. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Really what? You feel, don't think the people that call cops on people are stupid? Because they are. Hi, Amberlynn. I did five lines of Coke and a Tinder hookup. Yeah. Ooh. You need your channel removed. Well, feel free, Passion Chip Tim, not to watch it. I don't know why you're still here. Flipping your shit over a life you don't have to live. <laughs> well, call the COVID police then. Go ahead. I don't care. I'm over that too. I'm over it. I don't care. Like, seriously. That's right. I totally forgot about that wicked mom. She had no problem calling CPS. She threatens to sue everybody. She's the biggest fucking Karen on this planet Earth. But yeah, call the cats. They don't care. Coked out Karen. It's a different story, huh? <laughs> I actually don't like rough. 
Your life is so pathetic. Well, I had fun. I had fun. Thanks, Courage. I had a really, really, really good time. Just because it's not your idea. You know, like, I had a really good time. <clears throat> I know, like, if you don't like it, then just leave if you're so easily fucking offended. I'm sick of, like, people judging me for every single thing I do. Um, making assumptions about how I'm feeling in my life. Like, you're downward spiraling. You're not feeling, you're, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Like, I've done, I've been doing this shit for, like, my whole life. Like, it's not anything new. It's... You've been doing reckless uh, shit your whole life because you've hated yourself forever. You think very, very little of yourself. You don't give a damn what happens. And so you still do the reckless behavior that most people grow out of in their 20s. Then there's the fact that you barely lived. Hmm? You were the fatty, the annoying fatty at that who smelled like blue cheese. People avoided you. You didn't have the experiences as a teenager in an early 20s that most people have. So here you were at death fat status, almost 40 years old, talking to everybody like they were 17. She's got the attitude of me at 17. I was such a little bitch at 17. Couldn't tell me a goddamn word. It was me and my boyfriend. It's like, same, just disgusting. And this is why it's important to live life stages at the stage you're supposed to have them, Christ. Are you stout, stupid as all hell, coked out of your mind at 40, fucking being defiant with the audience? Fuck off. They're not your mother. You know, like, it's not anything new. It's not. Um, you know? So if that, that if, if it offends you, then, well, what can I say? Um... So, yeah, I know you don't have to leave, but, I mean, like, I don't care what you have to say about it. Anyway, how about that local sports team? No sports. <laughs> it is dramatic. <laughs> I know, what are they going to do? Like, they're being a-holes. I think people are being assholes, major assholes. Sorry, I do. Judgmental assholes, but that's that's fine. That's okay. I mean, whatever. See, that's the risk you take, though, when you come out on an established channel that you've been, you know, doing fuck all with for all these years and suddenly and what seemingly out of the blue tell everybody about the all the drugs you had done the night before and the reckless sex and stuff. You you really think people don't have a right to an opinion or everybody's opinion just had to be, wow, Chantal, that sounds amazing. If you didn't like the judgment, you should have never brought it to the Internet, idiot. But then again, if she hadn't, we wouldn't have had crack at Olympics. You understand all the things I'm saying is just advice to her. But I am so fucking thankful that she made a fool out of herself every day for about a year and a half. It was the greatest time ever. Ever. That's a lot of people are just have different morals or prude or whatever. I don't know. But that's I'm a grown woman. Um, If I want to once in a while. Hi, Gail. I don't know, Lynx. I guess if they don't, then they'll just age restrict my or delete my video. I don't know. Thank you, Michelle Baron Smith. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. It's out of my system. Yeah, like what the fuck? Here for the tea comes in. You should have your license revoked. Fuck off. Seriously. Like, excuse me. <laughs> like, oh my God. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> That's what they are, the squares. <sighs> Anyways. No, I've never done ketamine or anything like that. <sighs> People are weird. Like, you, you want me to tell you things that, like, the badder the better, and then you freak out. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Okay, but you went from zero to 100 in a day. The day before you were probably making fucking meat poops and laying on the llama all day. And here we are talking about, oh my God, and then he was hitting me all over. I'm getting all bruised. We were busting out lines of cocaine, raw dogging with a crackhead and stuff. I don't know, you guys went on the tea and you get mad when you get the tea. The fuck? It's always everybody's fault, eh? Jesus Christ. I don't get, I don't get how it works. But I'll keep sharing my life because that's my life. And like I said, I'm not living it to make people happy. I'm not living it to um, avoid judgment. I don't want to look like some saint when I'm not. Uh, 
Again, fast forward to present day cosplay. Oh, you don't want to look like some saint while you're not? So? No, Grace, because that would mean I have to be driving impaired. So stop listening to stupid reaction channels that make up every fucking lie in the book. I do not want to hear about... Well, then don't tune in, Stephanie, if you don't want to hear about my horizontal bopping. This is, last time I checked, I think my name was on my channel, and I get to share whatever I want on my channel, right? Right? Exactly. I'm not a role model, so remember that. Remember that. Bitch, no one ever thought you were a role model. Coke or not, crack it or not, a 450-pound woman who makes their money stuffing their face on fast food on the internet is nobody's role model. I'm not a role model. Save your goddamn words. Jesus Christ, look at her smile. She's so proud of herself right now. It's disgusting. It's funny that I haven't told a single lie. Really, you're very observant there, um, Callie. I don't, I don't even know why the fuck you're here, but okay. <laughs> All she has to say is that she liked to get views. There's no proof of her doing anything illegal. Exactly, Tina. People are fucking stupid. <clears throat> Drugs, bad, big mad. Drugs are bad, whatever. Well, that's how it works on the internet, isn't it? All you have to do is lie and say you did it because of the internet. She's got the plan now about the cocaine. It's what Koki did apparently when the uh, the Sam's uh, Bar Lounge videos came out. Koki and Didi just convinced the cops that no, none of it was true. It was just for the internet. You know, it's for YouTube. Okay, great. With that logic, I had nothing to do with the BBJ thing. Oh, it was all bullshit. It was just for the internet. What are you talking about? I was comfy in my house in Montreal. That picture of me in my little disguise, I took that out here. You know, when it's winter in Ottawa, it's winter in Montreal too. It was just all bullshit for the internet, for some views. <laughs> I don't care. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Hugs, honey. Thank you, Laramie. I'm not, I didn't say I didn't use condoms and I'm not telling you guys the details of like that shit. That's not your business. Anyway, LeVar Burton's been, uh, <laughs> uh, been revealed as one of the guest hosts for, uh, for Jeopardy. So now we just have to hope that uh, the producers are smart enough to pick him as the permanent, uh, host of Jeopardy. Hmm. It's what everybody wants. Yeah. Everybody wants LeVar Burton hosting Jeopardy. I don't. Jeopardy fan, lifelong here. Uh, I pick Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings should be the only host of Jeopardy. I like my MB Alec, but she's got a real bad rhythm to reading the goddamn answers. Okay. I don't, I, she's not good on Jeopardy. Ken Jennings. Because he's awesome. <laughs> you know, like he's an intelligent guy who cares passionately about. Pete's, we're talking about cocaine here and a hookup. Can you shut the fuck up? Learning and knowledge. And, uh, yeah, people just love LeVar. I think I'm going to go lay down. Yep. <clears throat> like everything? No, it's the best timing because shit was getting ridiculous. So... Oh, he did it on purpose? He's chiming in with this Jeopardy bullshit on purpose because shit is getting ridiculous. Pete's, fuck off. You know what's fucking ridiculous to me? A grown-ass man being cared for by a woman because he's too lazy to work from home. That's fucking ridiculous. Leave, Pete's. So, yes, I was absolutely trying to change the, the topic. Why y'all want the hot tea if you can't handle the heat? <laughs> Brisa Hernandez, thank you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I had no context there. I only like my umbiolic out of blossom. I had no idea. She wrote a whole uh, New York Times op-ed where she blamed women for being sexually harassed and assaulted in the workplace and was like, it never happened to me because I dress modestly. Is that true? Holy fuck. 
okay, well, now I have a reason to dislike Maya Bialik. I just didn't like the way that she was reading the answers before, but wow, what a dick. Thank you, thank you. I mean, that's all you can do is, you know, either, I mean, I don't know what to say, you know? <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just like, I, I'm just, I don't get it. Like, I don't get how these things, I don't have a headache. I feel okay. I, I would feel, not up. I'm just tired. I'm thirsty. Um, that's a stupid fucking question. Did you Callie, use your Callie. Walker? <laughs> <laughs> like have, I've been, didn't need my Walker for so long, but nice try, try again with the fat shaming. Thank you. Miss me with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said he only does coke like once in a while, like when he like this situation. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what peg means. Uh, fuck him in the ass with a strap on. Oh no, I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't see my family members right now, so no. <laughs> they were supposed to see mine on Tuesday. Oh yeah. Um. Macaroni. What? We're up because we're on coke. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going to lay in bed. Okay, wait, wait. Should we skip ahead a little? I, okay, she's mo She's on the move. She's on the llama. I haven't seen llama time in so long. Let's see if without Pete she gets back to the topic. If not, we're dipping the fuck out of this. If she's just going to talk some bullshit, fuck it. How the hell would I want to sleep? Anywhere else than my own bed. Oh, I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to shower. Oh yeah. Oh, nice hot one. Llama. I need it so bad. Gotta watch no, my it's so funny. I used to hate llama time. I used to, no, not the llama. And we would dip on the whole video. And now I just smiled so hard when I saw the llama. The sunny llama. My face. <sighs> I'm not deleting anything. I didn't do anything wrong. So I don't care. <laughs> Coke is an illegal drug. Yeah, it is. It is. Whew. The llama is that stuffed animal thing that's under her head right now. It's it's a, a, stuff, a little stuffed llama and she would use it as a pillow, but I would call it llama time. She would go up to her bed, lay on that llama and just talk bullshit for hours. I don't know if it's wrong. I mean, I don't think it's, it's obviously not healthy, but how about some of the prescription drugs people take, you know? <sighs> she just compared a death fat doing coke a night to prescription drugs, which she's also on plenty of. <laughs> Thanks, no eclipse. Yeah, I think I wasn't, uh, I think I started off by saying that, Liliana, because, you know, I think I, I would have been heavily judged for it, which I am. Um, thanks, Purple Mermaid. I'm not deleting it. Record it. I don't care. Nope. I'm not censoring myself. Just it, out of fear of people judging me for something I do or say. Nope. Not doing it. I didn't shower yet. I want to smell like him for a while longer. Uh, I know I sound trashy. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Remember that we're talking about Cokie the Crackhead now. I want to just sit in his stank. Ugh. Why is it trashy? I don't know. I don't think that way, I guess. I'm more open-minded with stuff like this. Oh, yes! What are you doing? Look at... Are you beezing? You're beezing. Stop your beezing. Thanks, Ariel. Well, I don't care if you don't believe me. Why would I care? I don't have anything to prove to anybody. Spell your email. Oh, can somebody put my email in there if you don't mind? I'd appreciate it. I didn't meet Nick. I'm supposed to meet him tomorrow. But now I have all these marks on my boobs. And if he sees my boobs, what do I say? I didn't do excessive drugs. Thanks, Raquel. I didn't do excessive drugs. I'm actually very responsible with my drugs. 
very responsible with my cocaine. That's an oxymoron coming from an oxymoron. You're a deaf fat. Any cocaine is irresponsible. You know me, I'm the anti-cocaine. I would say for anyone, cocaine is irresponsible. But mostly, you know, when you're 400 pounds and already on blood thinners and all kinds of other shit. Uh, I didn't hurt anyone. <sighs> yeah, that's what she said. Five lines of coke. Responsible, man. <laughs> Savage keyboard. No, his name wasn't Muhammad or Ali. <laughs> Sandra. Can I mean, yes, you can, Eric. <laughs> Of course he did. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have a FUBA, and he maneuvered. He, he, man, he doesn't get tired, ever. No, I, we used several condoms, okay? Like, we used several. There was a green one. I have a picture. <laughs> Tell me you never really fuck without telling me you never really fuck. You took a picture of the used condom? Oh my god. I don't know why I did that. I took a picture. There was a drawer full of like he keeps his cigarettes in there. He keeps this little thing that he picks his teeth with. And <laughs> a whole bunch of condom. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I feel so banged up and abused, but not in a bad way. <laughs> See, it's not, he didn't abuse me. It's just that. That's so disgusting. I feel so banged up and abused, but not in a bad way. And she smiles. Oh, I could throw up. That's so fucking disgusting. You s ooh, ooh. I remember how mad these videos used to be. I'm punchy right now. I am punchy. Look, <laughs> that's not my boob, but that's just the top. It's because I, I mark very, very easily because of my blood thinners. So how do I get... What do I say? Oh, God. We love you here in Atlanta. Thank you, raindrops! <laughs> Thank you. Well, it wasn't her first time, but it had been years years and years since her and BB were still fucking that's <laughs> true Debbie <laughs> hi Lizard King hi Mandy's got a gun say my cat beat me <laughs> Yeah, Madison, people, like, all get mad at me. Fuck, like, you wanted to know. <laughs> He's cut, yeah. I prefer cut. I don't really care, as long as it's clean, but. He's an awesome kisser. Oh, my God, just. I thought that we were going to be taking breaks. I had to, like, tell him, like, okay. My seven-year-old. So stupid. I hate this. I hate it here. <laughs> He's such a good kisser. I thought I would be taking breaks. I had to tell. God, I swear to this is a teenager. This is a teenager telling you about the night they lost their virginity. Son loves you. Oh, thank you. Raindrop PVs W. <laughs> Did you munch the carpet? Did he munch the carpet? I love you, Sarah Jane. I still love all you guys, even though you're, even though you don't like my bees. And <laughs> yeah, he did have food for me, but I didn't eat it. Um, I did say I'm just not hungry, but he was like, "Eat." Thank you. I hate when fatties pull that shit. I used to pull that shit again when I was an awkward teenager. You're a fatty. He makes food for the fatty. The fatty's like, "I'm not hungry." Girl, stop it! Just eat the food. Joy Leahy. No, I'm not on edibles. That's what you guys think. I'm like, I. Why would I drive on edibles? <laughs> or maybe when I got home. No, I'm I'm tired. I'm just tired. I don't. My pupils are not dilated. They look normal to me. I don't know. Hey. I don't think she means her child's watching now. So. 
I don't think she lets her child watch this. No. Your inner threads are going to be bruised. My whole... <sighs> Thanks, Jamie. Okay, I need some advice. And yes, I'm going to age restrict it. I I wouldn't let my fetus listen to this. <laughs> Gotta learn somehow. Okay. I'm just joking. In the womb. <laughs> I am very, very tired. You're right. I am very tired. I couldn't take it anymore. Like, I had to tap out. I'm like, I can't keep... I was like, you didn't have any sleep. Why are you still wanting to do this? Like, we'd be laying here like this and then, like, cuddling and kissing. And then he would start fucking getting turned on again. Like, oh my god, will you just stop it? Oh, so stupid. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm sorry, but the way you're right, the way that she hit that vape pen was so telling. It wasn't just the fact that she hit the vape pen in the car, which is bad enough. It was so natural for her to do it. It was in the, the cup holder of the car. And the way she, she was on live, she's talking on live and she just grabs it and takes a puff, lets you know how often she does that. You know what I mean? It's so casual. It never goes down. It never got soft ever. It was just like, oh no, that's not true. It did. TMI. I know, but it is hurting. I'm in so much pain right now. Like, I can't even tell you. I'm in so much pain. <clears throat> yeah, raindrop. So big, B I G, beautiful, and then me, M E E, at gmail.com. All one word, big, beautiful, me, M E E. Thank you. I don't know. I didn't know Pete was on Tinder. I I'm, I'm hope you find somebody. I was in his house from. Um, The sniffing became so bad it was on everybody's nerves. We call it the nose huff. That combined with the <coughs> every five seconds. Oh, it was driving us nuts. No, I didn't tell him about the bunny. I was there from like 5, 530 or something like that. I left his house at like 1 or I was like, I remember being in my car at like 1. So we had a lot of hours. Mm, yes, please. No, I didn't. Yeah, he had a whole drawer full of condoms. Um, his house. He has a pretty big place. Lies about the condoms. Um, he's Lies. renovating his house. Just this little Egyptian guy. It's crazy. Like he and he had a really, really cute fit. He has a real he's really good at kissing. His I don't know. He's he is really good at kissing. You know when you just like are making out? Oh, I love that so much. I love making out. He's pretty tall. I'm so paro about my weed in the car and the cops. And so I always keep anything I have weed wise in the trunk. Nobody can ever say you're getting it out of the trunk. No one can fuck around. Maybe you like him more than Nick now. I definitely, I mean, spending all night with him in the room and just being silly. Yeah, I think so. Um, oh my God, Amanda, Elaine, and oh, I'm not joking. Like, yeah, many times. I, I, I've never, I've never ever been treated like that by a man ever like this guy just knows why his room well that's where his bed was <laughs> i'm not catching feelings <laughs>